what is up you guys welcome to another video today i'm gonna be showing you how i achieved this twist out using the green hair paint wax by hair paint wax that's literally just the name of the company so i really don't have much else to say except let's get into the video Alright, so I'm starting off with my hair already in twists. That's just a lot easier for me to start, to be honest. Everything has already been sectioned off. And yesterday, I moisturized, oiled, detangled, and did all of that. So I don't have anything else to do besides actually put the hair color on my hair. Now, the hair color I'm going to be using is the same one as before, where I use the blue hair paint wax, but this time it's green. But the brand is exactly the same. And it's literally just called hair paint wax so this is what the container looks like and it does look like a pretty vibrant ish kind of green but it's not actually gonna come out this exact shade it's gonna look like this which is a bit darker which is like right on the side so you know exactly what to expect also the color may vary depending on um crap <laughs> Color may vary from person to person depending on hair texture and current hair color. Um, so like I said, I had already done the blue one. Oh, this is so nice. Damn. I've already done the blue one before. It actually turned out really bright. Not as bright as this. It was pretty much the same color as here, which is good because I knew what I was getting going into it. So yeah let's let's go let's start so the container does come sealed of course so i have to peel this off before we start uh actually forgot how hard this was to take off so i'm just gonna use a pin to separate and then peel it back okay all right so here's a close actually let's do a comparison between the two colors i can't see okay all right. all right the blue is definitely a lot more saturated and it has a bit more shimmer to it almost like a glossy kind of vibe which i like and that actually stayed even when it was dried onto my hair this one is a bit paler compared to the blue but i still like it and like i said it's gonna dry darker than this which i'm actually looking forward to all right it does say it does say to start on damp hair so i'm gonna put most of my hair away i'm actually gonna start from the back maybe yeah let's start with these tiny tiny ones in the back so i'm gonna be undoing one twist at a time i'm not sure if i mentioned it before but i'm going to be doing a twist out for this video just like last time but the twists are going to be a lot smaller so i get more can you hear the kids next door? I'm gonna be starting off a lot smaller so I get more um, definition and length. If anybody's wondering why the hair at the back of my head is so much shorter than everywhere else, um, I had an undercut a while back and I'm still growing it out. It is being very ungrateful and taking forever so it's not catch up to everybody else yet, but we're getting there. Okay? Okay. So to start, I'm just going to do like one spray. One spray is just water alone in this container. And then we are going to apply. I think it says use a small to moderate amount. Um, I know what that means. I'm going heavy handed as usual because I want it to be very saturated. I want it on every strand. I want it bright. I want all of the business. So I'm going to be using a lot. I'm going to finish up the back section, I guess, and then come back on and then do the rest on camera or some of the rest on camera. All right, so I'm mostly finished. I think I only have four or five twists in the front section left to do, but I figured I would come on camera and talk about a few things that I've noticed while I finished the last few. So we're gonna start with the positives. The first thing which, oopsie. The first thing I noticed which really stands out to me is that this product has a 
ridiculous amount of slip so it goes through my hair very very easily it pretty much just slides on to the hair that makes it really really easy to apply and i feel like even if my hair wasn't detangled before i could use this product alone to comb through it with just absolute ease because it just it's more slimy than it is um what's the word it has so much slip to the point where it feels like it's slimy so i really love that um the other thing is that it adds so much definition like you can see it right here my curls look like this in real life is me like this is not my hair this is me my hair don't look like this on its own but there's a lot of slip there's a lot of definition so the application process goes very 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 smoothly and i feel like the twists are gonna come out looking really nice just like they did when i used the blue one the thing i don't like about it so far is how it looks it's so messy um yeah how it looks it's i mean i know it's supposed to dry darker and da 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 but i don't know i feel like and i keep comparing it to the blue one because the blue one turned out really nice and i liked the whole process of applying the blue and watching it dry and blah blah but i feel like this is not gonna dry as saturated as even what it's showing on the container i could be wrong hopefully i'm wrong but right now it's very pale so i don't know how it's going to look <sighs> when it's dry hopefully it turns out fine but that's my concern also because of how the color kind of clumps in some areas even when i apply a lot i'm having to use way more than i had expected because i'm trying to get every strand of hair i'm trying to get it deeply saturated and all of that but like i'm already almost done there's some on the sides but uh i'm pretty much gonna be using the whole container which I wasn't expecting because again with the blue I didn't need the entire thing I think I only used about two-thirds of the blue for my oopsie for my entire head right here so I don't know I really don't know how this is gonna turn out but we're hoping for the best as usual this feels so good to twist down because it's so slimy. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. Okay, all of the twists are in. My face is oh, it's on my eyelashes. Great. Okay. All right, I'm going to be adding a bit more to the roots and anywhere i feel like just didn't get enough mostly the roots and like along my edges like right here this is real this is also clearly i'm doing something wrong but this is a lot messier than before like even with the blue yeah it was getting all over my hands and you know on my shirt and some on my face but this is it's a bit much it's a little bit too much so i can't see the back of my head you see me just i can't see the back of my head oh, hopefully i have enough oh i should actually show you guys how much i used so from a completely full jar this is what is left and again, we're comparing it to the blue. I can even feel that there's a lot more. I'm not sure if you guys can tell just by looking, but there is significantly less in the green than there is in the blue. Um, again, just because the blue is a lot more saturated, so I had to use more of the green to try to get it to where I wanted it to be. I feel like I've been talking for way too long now and I should just go on about my business, clean up stuff, and go. So that's what I'm gonna do.
all right so i'm gonna start by addressing the elephant in the room yes i did my makeup um off camera because i i'm still afraid of people seeing all of the chaos that goes on behind the scenes when i have to put on a face on makeup and also i just yeah i'm just not ready to do my makeup on camera as yet so what i was going for using me was something very very subtle something simple not so any face but it was one of those times where i started off really light and then the makeup kind of just took over and this is what i ended up with um i actually quite like it it's a bit extra i guess but i don't know it works on me so this is what we are working with also i wanted something that was like mostly green to go with the hair of course i'm actually not feeling what the hair is looking like now that it's completely dry so i'm not particularly excited about the hair also it feels like or it looks like it's just sitting on top of my hair like i mean obviously it is but it feels like it's going to flake when i take it down and it's gonna just look very very fake so we are going to see i'm gonna start from the back and then work my way up to the front so just to put this out of the way also there might be some noise in the background that's because it's really hot today so i had to keep the fan on otherwise i would just melt into a puddle but hopefully the sound quality is good enough for you guys can still hear me over the fan eh, i mean it's completely dry so that's good it's been a whole day um I don't like the color I don't like the color let me just get that out of the way from now and this is feeling a lot like when I first tried temporary hair color I used green the first time as well it was from a different company and everything and it was just it felt absolutely terrible on my hair there's a whole video about it that you guys can check out it did not feel good um, and it didn't look good and it was flaking all over the place but the color that I got then is oh god it's flaking it's flaking see all that jesus the color i got then is very similar to the color i'm getting right now um didn't like it then don't like it now to be honest i haven't even finished pulling it out yet and the place is already messy because it's just uh, this is not what i wanted this is not what i wanted all right you know we're going full on run right now so i don't even need to pull out the whole of these twists to know that i'm not going to like the outcome the first thing is that the color is not what i wanted at all and even looking at the color that it's supposed to be which is this green right here i hope you can see it's a little bit darker than what's in the container it doesn't look like that at all and it's it's flaking this is like this is a lot even when i was taking down the blue i don't think it flaked at all so i was not expecting it to be flaking up this much the good thing about this is that my hair still feels very soft like it's not all dried out and crusty like when i use the other green hair paint ones but like the visuals i know it is this is not it at all like it's not giving it is not giving what the blue one was giving and that's the thing too you know I had the blue and the blue one was so nice and i was like oh my gosh i didn't even expect it to look this good um i know the green is like what is this Ugh. it's not working it's not look at my face it's not working at all unrelated though and i feel like this isn't a popular opinion at all i feel like black lipstick looks good on absolutely everybody like it don't matter your skin tone or your face shape or whatever i just feel like black lipstick is just perfect no matter what just a side note you know look <laughs> that's not cute no bags me upset all right so all the twists are out and uh, i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it and i wanted to like it but 
I can't get over the flakes. That's the first thing. Even though the color, I mean, the color is dull. It could definitely be worse. I can't live with the color. The flakes, the fl I can't, I can't do this. I cannot live with these flakes. It's all over the floor. It's all over my clothes. Everywhere. It's not working. And it looks how it looks on my scalp. Ew. So the blue one never looked like this at all. And I'm trying to think if I did anything differently this time. And I didn't. My hair was moisturized, detangled, all that stuff. I gave it enough time to dry. I don't know. The green just isn't working for me at all. Uh. I don't like this. I'm going to take my enough self. Spend too much time. Put on makeup. Take out outfits. Feel like some my hair will look good. And it don't look good. So now I'm not want to do nothing again. I don't want to do anything. Because this don't look nice. I feel like in pictures it would probably look cute. But then again, it's the flakes. Watch out. It's all up on my eyelash. The flakes are on my lash. Jesus. Nope. This is not it at all. I don't like this. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. This is not something that you can just overlook because it's like a one and two. They're absolutely everywhere. I'm even afraid to try to like style it differently now because it's just gonna make it worse. <sighs> you know what? Let's just get into the pros and the cons. Um, we're gonna start with the pros. Firstly, the application was very nice. It was very smooth. There was a whole lot of sleep. So it's very easy to apply onto my hair and it felt really good. Um, it was easy to comb through, all of that. Also, now that it's dry, I can speak about the curl quality or the curl definition of my hair. It holds the curl very, very well. I feel like this would also be really good for a braid out, any kind of old style, maybe even a wash and go actually so yeah definition is there the softness is there my hair actually feels really nice right now i feel like it's giving me thick deep conditioner rinse out conditioner vibes it feels really good my hair feels great amazing cons cons really all you have to do is look at me look at me pam lash them look pam lash look at me the f I can't, I can't, how many times have I said flakes since I've been doing this? Flaking is crazy. I can't get over it. I can get over the fact that it like, it's messy and it gets on stuff because you can just wash that out, it's fine. But the fact that I'm going to be walking on the road and it's going to drop like dandruff does not sit well with me at all. Flakes, big no-no. I don't like that. So that's the first thing. The next thing on the list of negatives is that the color isn't what... It is supposed to be and I know that based on the color of your hair and blah 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 it might be a little bit different but I feel like this is vastly different whole leap different enough enough different than what it is supposed to look like what I was expecting it to look like again I could live with the color I could it's not so bad but it's not what I was expecting and the flaking is killing me so all in all I don't feel like I will ever be using this green again Unless I come up with a way to stop the flaking, which I doubt. But it's it's ridiculous. And then if I try to brush it off, it just it does this. It becomes like a solid block of color. And it just makes things messy. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this in for. <sighs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure I've said everything that I needed to say except thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video i'm gonna see if i can get some filler clips and some pictures to post hopefully they come out cute because this makeup look is not going to waste maybe so nobody wants to say the hair might not be all that but things are going right so easy me but you guys will see me next time bye